Good Wednesday, Wildcats. I'm Kim Rodriguez, and this is Paloma Now, bringing you the best for schools culture right now. First up today, I had a very special visit yesterday to a very special student. Take a look. All right, we are on our way to go celebrate our first student of the month for our 24-25 school year. Officer Murphy is not coming to arrest anyone, but it's because we love this kid and we're excited to announce him in front of all of his peers. Hey! How we doing, guys? That was a great answer, Javon. How the rest of y'all doing? Okay, I feel weird with a mic, but they told me I have to use it. So, we got a few people here, you guys know me. Coach Walsh, AD, Ms. Darton, AP, SRO Mercy, Murphy. So we're not here to arrest anyone, we're good, okay? But we are here to celebrate our first Student of the Month! <laughs> Javon Major, Student of the Month! Yeah, you're gonna come up, you're gonna hang out with us. But first I'm gonna make one of your classmates tell me why they think you should get Student of the Month. Who wants to talk about Javon? There we go. I think that Javon's a amazing student, student first, uh, representing the Wildcats football. You know, I think he's a very good student. Uh, future, he got, he got a bright future. Gosh, we didn't even plan this. Perfect. Is that really <laughs> That's really impressive. All right, let's get one more round of applause for Javon, and we're going to steal him outside. How does it feel to be student of the month? Um, it feels good. Uh, they kind of just came in the class, and it was wasn't um, expecting it, but it was nice. What challenges do you think you face to get here? Academically, I would say um, being consistent, you know. We all have days when we go to school and it's just like, I don't feel like doing this assignment. But one thing that helps me is uh, the things I do outside of academics. So I want to play in this game, I want to excel at my sport, so I have to uh, do my school, be on time. And what advice would you give the next person to hold this great position? Um, do the best that you can. Um, uh, focus on improvement one step at a time instead of striving for um, perfection, you know? Thank you. Yeah. That was really fun. And one more time, let's give it up for Javon. Next up, more reasons to celebrate because it's time for Wildcat Esports. Let's go out Sophia Chavez, who's with the Esport Advisor, Noah Conway. Thanks, Kate. So, Mr. Conway, what kind of games do you guys play in Esports? In eSports, we offer a variety of different games, and as you can see from our schedule actually right here, we are offering Rocket League tryouts today after school, then we have Valorant Thursday, and we're ending the week with Rainbow Six tryouts on Friday. We also are having Super Smash Bros tryouts pretty much all of this week and next week after school. Next week, we are gonna have Overwatch tryouts starting on Tuesday, Fortnite Wednesday, League of Legends Thursday, and then Apex Friday, and then if anybody misses any of those days, they can always come on Friday and make up and try out for whatever game they're interested in. And who should join eSports? eSports is for everybody that is interested in video games, whether it is casual or competitive. So they are always welcome to join, and we'll find a spot for them. And how can Wildcats join if they're interested? If they're interested, just come by, see 107 after school. I'm there till 4.30 every day, pretty much. So they stop by and then I can help them figure out where they're going to fit on the teams and go from there. Thank you, Mr. Conway. Back to you, Kate. Thank you, Sophia. Coming up next week is the start of Tutoring Tuesdays. Right now, the tutoring department is looking for three teachers per week to help with math, foreign language, and English, but especially science. Teachers can contact Ms. Buck if interested. Tutoring Tuesdays from 3.45 to 4.45 in the Media Center. Take advantage of this, Wildcats, and keep up those grades. Now here's more important stories. I'll be back in 15 seconds. You are watching Paloma Now. You are watching Paloma Now. So Wildcats, what's the thing you have to remember to do every day? That's right, check those emails every day. Maybe even two or three times a day. And finally, today, do you not know what the no-go list is? Let's go back out with Sophia Chavez who spoke to campus supervisors and students about the no-go list. The no-go list means you won't be able to go to certain events throughout the whole school year. So Jackie, how can Wildcats get pawned to the no-go list? By not following school expectations. For coming to school late, truancy, um, 
going to class, like certain periods late, they all add up. If you get over 17, then you're on a no-go list. Absences, tardies, and behavior issues will get you on the no-go list. If you find yourself on the no-go list, there's ways to get off it. See behavior support to find out how. Well, that's it for this edition of Paloma Now. Let me ask you a question. Where are you going to college? Never too soon to think about college. Have a great day or not, the choice is always yours. For the entire Paloma Now crew, I'm Kayla Rodriguez, and I'll be seeing you on campus.